Welcome back to the vlog and welcome here to Garoka. We're heading down to Port Moresby today, an hour and a half flight. Let's go get it started before the fog starts rolling in. Make sure our fuel's on. Low start and over 14%. We'll introduce my fuel. TAWS system test, okay. NG is coming up past 30. I'm watching the ITT to make sure it's coming up at a nice rate. First start of the day. No dramas. Generator on. Make sure no one's behind us. The other plane is also coming down here this morning. We've got some returning missionaries coming back to the field that we'll be picking up today. And as you guys can see, I now have a lighted one up here. So, um, yeah, that's the very first time. It's not even Velcroed up here. I just wanted to see how the lighting is as far as it's act the same actually as what is inside the Kodiak. Same brightness and color and everything. So I'm really excited about that. Baroka Tower, good morning. November Tango Kilo request. Taxi Moresby 1 POB. We'll be heading down at 17,000 feet today. November Tango Kilo, Baroka Tower. Good morning, Ryan. And uh, taxi runway 17 left. Enter back track lineup. QNH 1017. Time check 02. Good morning, Raiden. 1017. Clear to back track and lineup. Um, request one one seven right because there's another plane that'll be coming out as well. Over my thingo, Kilo Roger, backtrack one seven left for one seven right, then line up. Good backtrack one seven left for one seven right, line up, no, but take a Kilo. Good morning, rolling November Tango Echo, request taxi for Moresby 2 POB, and we copy one zero one seven. Um, they go Echo, Kokotao, morning, Roger, and taxi backtrack, 417 left, uh, line up. At the backtrack, line up, 17 left, November Tango Echo. Alright, we've already done our controls, our switches and instruments, completely empty today. So, already have all of that all set up, but where I got my flight plan in, our flaps are set at 20. If we're not basically 50 knots by the first taxiway, then we'll go ahead and abort on the runway. After takeoff, we'll pitch for 85 knots, consider our EPL, or emergency power lever. Basically just a fuel override. I'll consider feather, 80, 85, then 80 full flaps. Emergencies will call up tower. Inlet and lights are all good. Our harnesses. November Tango Kilo ready for departure. November Tango Kilo, 17 right, left turn, clear for takeoff. 17 right, right, clear for takeoff, November Tango Kilo. All right, ignition condition. November Tango Echo is ready in turn, and yeah, we can maintain visual. November Tango Echo, roger. Off, and uh, yours with the uh, company, 17 left, left turn, clear for takeoff. Clear take off, one seven, last left turn, and I'm tank record. All right, there we go. Airspeed is alive. Fork is set. There's rotate. And we've got another plane right behind me taking off as well. It's pretty nice out there, above this, like, kind of scuzzy layer. Pitching for 85 knots initially. I've got quite a bit of fuel on board today. Tension where I am, so I'm not cutting into other airplanes. Space right behind me. There's over 100, we'll go zero degrees of flaps, bring our pop prop to 2000 RPM. And we'll pitch for 100 knots, all the way up to 17,000 feet today, just to save on fuel. We'll throw our engine inlet back to normal, igniters can be turned off, we'll leave our landing light on just initially. Crooked out November Tango Kilo, departed time 05 on climb 17,000. Tracking 147, on bog estimate 38. Double Tango, Kilo, Roger. Contact Mosby for clearance. On one two zero decimal seven, HF six two two at one five miles. 
1-2-0-7-6-6-2-2-1-5 miles, no number 10 kilo. A really nice, clear, beautiful morning all the way down to Port Moresby today, and um, according to the Taft, it should be pretty nice when we get down there as well. The Taft is just a terminal area forecast, so basically the weather, what it's forecasting to be when I get down to Port Moresby. We can throw our landing light off now. We'll leave our taxi light just on pulse for the time being. I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking about this. Um, it's still kind of in the final kind of rendition, trying to figure out, make sure that all the bugs are worked out of it before I offer it to you guys. So just working out a couple of details and design a little bit just to make sure that yeah, it's good. I've already gone through a couple of different lights and brightnesses and stuff to get the right color because I wanted the same color as the actual plane and what most airplanes are, they're more of a yellowish than kind of a bright white. And I also didn't want it too bright, so right now it's the same brightness. If you turn the Kodiak lights all the way up, then, oops, not that one. Um, brightness for like all the switches and panels and stuff, circuit breakers, it's the same brightness as that. You can't really adjust the brightness on it, but one I can tell, it, it's bright enough, but not dim enough. It's not too dim, I should say. Wow, that's quite the sunrise. I hate Don departures, but I love the sunrise. That's awesome. Used to work at a golf course when I was like 19. I hated getting up early, but I loved my drive to work because I'd get the sunrise every morning. Moresby 120 decimal seven, November Tango Kilo transfer. November Tango Kilo, this is Mosby, good morning, go ahead. Good morning, November Tango Kilo, one six miles to the southeast Goroka, passing one two thousand on climb one seven thousand. Estimating overhead Ombog three eight, copy company November Tango Echo, standing by for clearance. November Tango Kilo, Roger, no additional reported traffic, step by for clearance. November 10 kilo. Oh, we're passing 12,000s, pull out my oxygen. Nope, Kodiak is not pressurized, so yep, we've got to wear oxygen. If you guys want to see pictures of my day-to-day -day flights, um, I post almost daily on Instagram. Well, if you are not familiar with where Papua New Guinea is, it's located just north of Australia. Not in Africa, like some might think. Anyways, we're heading down to Port Moresby, which is the international airport. It's where all of our returning missionaries are going to be flying into. But so we've got three flights down there this morning. Uh, I'm just doing one, and the other airplane is doing two runs down there. So I'll hopefully be done by like 1 o'clock this afternoon. A chime has let me know it's 5 degrees or under. Celsius outside to throw out my pedo heats in case I go through any clouds where potential icing might be. What I've personally found in Papua New Guinea is it's usually, on average, right around the 14,000 foot mark um, is where you typically will get into below 5 degrees Celsius. Um, and from what I've found personally, I really have only picked up icing really when it's closer to like the zero degree mark or maybe like negative one or two or something going through clouds so this doesn't have anti-ice all it has is pedo heat so it's not ready to go through icing so we keep out of it uh, if we can get on top of this layer right here i don't think that we're going to at 17,000. it looks a little bit higher than that maybe but it is oh it's so beautiful on top Time reminds me that I'm only 200 feet yet to go, up to 17,000, and either level start leveling off or just turn on your autopilot. How's the temperature up there? Zero degrees. Are you gonna go into those clouds? Uh, I think I'm gonna be under. Yeah, I'm gonna be under these clouds. Cool. Uh, looks like it's 17,000. We got to get our clearance before on board. A primitive. I've got 18 minutes, so probably in like another 10 minutes I'll give them a call if they haven't yet. Yeah, I'm about 50 seconds behind you, so... Though we're leveled off at 17,000, our speed is at 114. It's going to start going up to probably like 
125 or something like that. The higher you get, you don't quite as get as much indicated airspeed. As I'm leveling off, because my speed's increasing, I'm gonna start taking a little bit of that right rudder pressure out. Also because I don't have as high of an angle of attack, I don't need that right rudder pressure that I had in the climb. So that's what this little button down here is. Doesn't take much, just a little bit. You can see I've got my ITT at 720 or really close to that. It kind of bounces around just a tiny bit and my prop's still at 2000. So I bring this lever right here, my power lever back just ever so slightly. And that's going to be bringing my ITT down to 700 and we'll leave it at 700 for our cruise. Orsby 120.7, November Tango, Kilo request. November Tango, Kilo, Mosby, go ahead. November Tango, Kilo, one zero minutes to run on bog, uh, requesting clearance. November Tango, Kilo, 86 clearance to enter control area, track Goruka on board, flight plan route to Mosby, enter at amended 15000, code 0414. Could do enter control there, space via Goruka on bog, then flight plan Mosby, enter Amended 15000, squawk 0414, November Tango Kilo. November Tango Kilo, break November Tango Echo Mosby clearance. November Tango Echo is ready to copy. November Tango Echo, ADC clearance, to enter control area, track Goroka, on board flight, been to Mosby, enter at 17000, code 0426. All right, clearing control to airspace by Groga on bog flight plan route to Morrisby, 17,000, and we'd like to amend that to 15,000 uh, or 13,000, squawk 0426. To put our squawk. Tango Echo, traffic, November Tango Kilo is at 15,000. Confirm, but uh, we'll get icing here in a few miles if we stay at 17, so we can take 13,000. November Tango Echo, standby for clearance. Anybody, to put our code in, 0414, see if I get it in right this time. Transponder, and then hit code, 0414, and then it says right here, 0414. Echo, Mosby, request level. Level 17,000. And we'll turn down here to 15,000, start heading down to 15,000. We have to enter in in just another, probably like uh, 10 miles. That works out because there's a chance that I might have picked up some icing to those clouds ahead of me here in another 30 miles or so. November Tango Kilo, November Tango Echo, intern report descent point. November Tango Kilo, four miles run, Socto, one five thousand. And Socto be top descent. And November Tango Echo is same, Socto top descent. Roger both. November Tango Kilo, when ready to send 10,000, QNH 1009. When ready to send 10,000, 1009, or no, November Tango Kilo. My altitude select all the way down 10,000 feet and hit our vertical speed. And we'll start on heading down probably around 700 feet per minute. That way I don't mess up the other airplane right above me, 2,000 feet above me. Vertical track. Actually, let's just go down to 800. Nova Tango Kilo, Nova Tango Echo. Intern report, question, advice. I'm sorry, you broke up at the last second. Please say again, Nova Tango Kilo. Nova Tango Kilo, advice, speed on descent. Uh, indicated one, four, three knots, Nova Tango Kilo. Nova Tango Kilo. November Tango Kilo, November Tango Echo, intern contact Jackson Radar now 125 decimal 8. 125 decimal 8, November Tango Kilo. 358, November Tango Echo. Good day, thanks for help. Jackson Radar, November Tango Kilo, passing 13,300 on descent 10,000. November Tango Kilo, Jackson Radar, good morning. Expect a visual screen approach, runway 14, all right? Then uh, keep best speed for sequencing, descend to 6,000. Morning, expecting the 1-4 right visual, clear to descend to 6,000, no gun particular, and keep speed up. Marcello Lima, leaving 4,000, make a left turn, pilot set of the 3-4-9 radio. Uh, leaving 4,000, clear the left turn, pilot set of the 3-4-9 radio, Mike Charlie Lima. 
10 minutes out. We'll check our selectors. Our fuel selectors are on. Our brakes are good. Our TAS is already enabled. Our VREF, which is our landing speed. We're going to be landing at 5,700 pounds. So 65 knots. With the slowest lights and inlets. We're below 10,000. We'll throw our landing light on. Our pedo heats we can turn off now. Our inlet will do once we get a little bit slower. If we have to go around for any reason, we're going to do power up first. Basically watch the little white needle bring it to the top of the green on my torque. Or correction, on my ITT, not my torque. My ITT, because we'll be at sea level, so we could actually over torque this thing pretty quick and easy. Uh, then we'll go 20 degrees flaps and pitch for 73 knots, maneuvers we need to, and then relook at our ITT and then reset this up to 740 for our best climb out. Echo, descend 2500, report visual. Descending 2500 for November Tango Echo, we're visual. November Tango Kilo. Say again, descend 2500, report visual. November Tango Kilo is descending to 2,500 and visual. November Tango Kilo, you clear visual approach for straight in runway 14 right, stand by for transfer. Click for the visual 14 right, stand by clearance November Tango Kilo. November Tango Echo, descend to 9,000. Descending 9,000, November Tango Echo. November Tango Kilo, contact time 118 decimal 1, 10 DME. I one zero DME one one eight S one one November tank kilo. Oh, right down here I'm at two one DME right now. So at ten miles is when I switch over to tower. Right, we should tell you you'll be following uh, Cody X by two on the straight in for one four eight. <laughs> Jackson tower November tank kilo one zero miles visual one four right. Good morning, Jackson. Tower Killer Sierra Alpha is already in the section, Fox Jordan. Killer Sierra Alpha, Jackson Tower. Hold at the holding point, runway 14 left. Hold at the holding point, 14 left, Killer Sierra Alpha. No, but Tango Kilo, Jackson Tower, good morning, runway 14 right. Continue approach. Report 5 miles. Report again, 5 miles, 14 right. No, remember Tango Kilo. Good morning. Mike Charlie Kilo, runway 14 left, maintain runway heading, contact radar airborne, clear for takeoff. Clear takeoff, runway heading, radar airborne, Mike Charlie Kilo. Because I have another plane behind me, I'm just keeping my speed up for as long as possible. Probably all the way to about 3 miles, I'll keep 170 knots indicated in here. And if I want to adjust that, if I want to slow down, I'm just going to reduce my power. Tower November Tango Kilo, 5 mile, 14 right. Let's start pulling my power now a little bit, just want to shock cool the engine. No, but thank you, continue approach. No, but thank you. Push my prop forward. No, but thank you, Kilo, run we one for right, clear to land. Clear to land, one for right, no, but thank you, Kilo. No, but thank you, Echo, Jackson's tower. That's tower, no, but thank you, Echo, four mile final. Five hundred. Right. No, Tango Echo. Can you explain? Uh, change of runway. Runway one four right. Correction one four left. Continue approach. Continue approach for one four left. November Tango Echo. All right. Reduce some power so I can get my flaps in. There's ten degrees below 138 knots. Provisky Charlie. Extend downwind. Report sighting. No, but Tango Echo. Up and harness is done. I will step down as well. Eight degrees of flaps. And we'll go idle. We'll just land with 20 degrees of flaps. Halfway down the runway. That's alright though. No, but Tango Echo, runway 14 left. Clear to land. Clear to land, 14 left, November Tango Echo. Bravoski Charlie, I continue approach, maintain one visual separation, one we one for right. I got to separate it, uh, for one for right, I will keep it. Jackson ground, 
November Tango Kilo on intersection Kilo 1, requesting taxi MF hangar. Probes off. Taxi light on. Jackson Ground, November Tango Kilo. November Tango Kilo Ground, good morning, continue taxi. Continue taxi MF hangar, November Tango Kilo. Alpha. Tango Foxtrot, expedite cross flight pot 148. Expedite, cross 148, Alpha, Tango, Fox, thanks. Well, it's a beautiful morning here in Port Moresby, Papua New Guinea. It's 30 degrees already at 7.30 in the morning. If you guys enjoyed that flight with me, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you didn't like it. If you're interested in picking one of these up for yourself, single pilot stuff, I've got them on my website. Looks like SIL's here as well, doing a uh, CANS flight for cargo. I've got one of those coming up in a few weeks myself, so I'll take you guys down on that one as well, down to Australia. All right, for shutting down the Kodiak, uh, the biggest thing we want to do is make sure that your power levers are all the way, all the way back. You don't want to forward, you don't want to invade it. So we're going to turn off our taxi lights. We're going to leave our auxiliary fuel pump on for the time being. Turn off our um, auxiliary bus, which is just our air, our generator, and our alternator. Then we're going to have our three fingers on like this. In case we have kind of basically we shut it down and the temperature starts rising, we can continue to low motor it actually to keep the air flowing through the. November Tango Echo, cross flight path 148. Crossing flight path 14 right, November Tango Echo. Make sure this is all the way back. We're going to cut it off. Once our NG drops 40%, 40, 40 we'll go fast. A little warning thing to stop beeping. Have our hands here, watching our ITT drop down below 200. Once it drops down, our NG also drops below 10%. Then you're just gonna go ahead and turn off this, and then these two, and that's it.